Yes, but Agiabo. Both men very talented bowlers in uh, European terms have represented their continent and countries at uh, countless events across the globe. And this Catalonia Open taking on a really good international flavour over the last few years. It's become a, a favourite bowling centre, the bowling Pedrables, for quite a number of players. Brian Voss lists this as one of his favourite venues, and my goodness, he's bowled in a few over the years. He awaits the winner of this match, Fodder, I guess, and lanes five and six, the two to bowl on. But Cass, they're going to have to work out the breakdown of this oil pattern and see how things develop. Yes, indeed. Um, freshly dressed lanes, down to 38 feet. Gives them... Uh, 22 feet of back end where the ball will break up but it's quite heavy oil so uh, that should affect uh, both players unless they can work their angles out so it'll be interesting to see once they've had a couple of shots each both playing reasonably safe at the moment I think uh, Larson's lining himself up for pretty much the same area of the lane around about third arrow well, that one just didn't get back did it so he's discovered there's some oil out there on the right hand side of the lane Leaves himself the 2 4 and the 10 to open up with, which is a makeable split, but um, there are possibilities obviously to be an open frame. So he's played it down third 0, and it's just started to aquaplane away to the right. Just fractionally touches the head. Making. Oh, that's a good attempt. Tried to get that messenger across to uh, weed out the 10 pin. Yeah, open frame. Well, he's going to get it out of the way, hopefully, to start with. Here we can see his spare attempt. Trying to chip that two pin across to take the ten. Yeah, he's got to put his concerns on hold about the right side for the moment. Focus on what he knows to be the case for the left-hand lane. Would have seen uh, Gerbo's first ball. Oh, and he's gone very tight there as well and completely missed the pocket straight through the head pin. Yeah, that one was kind of tighter. And it's overreacted as it's got to the back end of the lane, the dry part. It's overreacted, gone high through the head pin. And leaves a 3 6 10. So hasn't quite got his radar sorted out on either, either lane yet. And with two frames down, he's only got eight frames to go. So it's, he doesn't really need to hang around. He's got to sort the, uh, the oiling pattern out on both of these lanes and make the necessary adjustments. Nice looking spare, the 3 nice 6 10. To, uh, Harden's a good result here. They may well take him to the top of the ranking lists in Europe. Yes, but had a solid nine pin on lane five in his first frame. Looked pretty much good enough to be a strike. And you see a lot more reaction from Jesper's ball, a lot more rotation and a lot more hook. So he's uh, going to be quite happy out there. And it's a great reaction for him. So if he can repeat that on uh, lane five, he'll uh, be well up, lined up for the pocket. Very strong action. Always a go up. Yeah, certainly got a lot of rotation on the ball, and you're quite right in what you say. Yeah, lots of the players who really crank the ball up like that do uh, well this guards. And a fantastic looking double, absolutely identical to uh, the previous ball. So, a great opening start there from uh, Jesper Agabo. Yeah, I think we can qualify this as ripping the rack. This is powerful as easily on these lanes, so he's got to find his line. Wide again, and it stayed out again, and he hasn't learned his lesson. Well, that's right, Simon. Yeah, you would have thought uh, after his first shot on the lane. Well, he's got an extra pin to work with. Not that that's going to be any consolation to him. Let's see if he can get the reaction he's looking for. No. Oh, dear. Well, unfortunately, misses the headpin, so there's no way he's going to take that 10 out. So another open frame. That's two yeah. out of three. Companion to ball down there on the lane. You often see the bowlers exchanging comments, exchanging low fives after a decent shot. Ball change for Larson on the left-hand lane. Good spot. A lot more rotation and a fantastic finish. <laughs> <laughs> He's very happy with that. He's not quite so happy with the previous two open frames. But that's a starter. He had to make the change. Really couldn't afford to uh, not strike on this one. Cassidy and that's Bowling a great ball Federation reaction. Cass in the background. Obviously sat with the VIPs, the sponsors. And with uh, Larson's start, they were having to explain that normally, normally <laughs> these guys knock all ten down. Yeah, these are top bowlers from Europe, apparently. Yeah, so Gerbo proving exactly that. He started this uh, first not stage of the final. Completely in style, but... Uh, he looks a little like Gary Verbruggen, and he's got that kind of laconic approach to the whole thing as well. Very laid back. 
And the lack of hair, is that what you're trying oh, to say as well? I'll me. speak to Gary about that. Of course, yes. Gary, Gary being the left-hander, yes, for being the right-hander, but the cameraman just got in the way to pull him off. Lovely smile, though. I mean, that just shows the way these guys approach the sport. No histrionics. Can you imagine that if it was a golf putt? The arguments would be raging now because the cameraman overstepped the mark. Four strikes in a row for Jesper, and you can see the lead he's got on the score sheet there. It's uh, 60 plus ahead all the time. He's running out of frames. He's staying with the same ball, so he's uh, decided that this right lane might uh, react a little better with this ball. Tightens up his line a bit. And gets the reaction. Well, you can see he actually moved his feet very much uh, further to the left on the approach. Changed the line, came in from almost second arrow, played around third and fourth. Hooked it around the middle. See, hey -ho, we're off to, uh, maybe looking for three in a row now. Yes, the camera operator's learned his lesson. Creeping in there behind Larson. Very smooth to the line. And that's much more like it. So he's found the ball. Uh, he's found it probably just in time to at least put some pressure on a Gabo. And Larson's just going to have to hope that his opponent gets into a bit of difficulty as the lane condition changes. Slides it in between third and fourth arrow. <coughs> gets a fat... Yes, yes, but then... Well, he's working on four strikes in a row, looking for five. Oh, yes. And the late, the late temping goes and gives him that five strikes in a row, so he really is got his game going. Sorted his um, sat-nav out, and he's right in that 1-3 uh, pocket. Fantastic-looking shot. Sets up that chain reaction in the back of the pin deck there. 47-pin lead already, and uh, we're past the halfway stage, so he's looking good. Oh, well, oh. he would have fancied that all the way. Just that fraction high. That straight ball comes out for the spare and takes that away very nicely, so he stays clean. Well, <laughs> you could see him waving that ball back. Look at the disgusting look on his face. He just cannot believe that he's missed the head pin by so much. Just watch this. It just sails away. It's just picked up in lane order, and it's gone almost to the outside boards, isn't it? Missed the head pin by a good couple of inches and leaves the 1-2-4. over. I think the look on his face tells us that. And uh, out comes the spare ball. Too much on the TV, but... If you go and watch this sport live, that'll be one of the things that really stands out. Oh, dear. And again, lots of reaction in that back end, and it's cut straight back across the head pin. Yeah, overreaction. He's not actually playing these, these lanes correctly. Perhaps I shouldn't say that, but it, it is a big overreaction in the back end. He was scared yeah. to go too wide. You can be slightly hesitant to throw that ball as perhaps as hard as you'd like to. Just in case you're you throwing the ball correctly, it's not going to react. Now, is it the ball, or is it you, or is it the lane? All these things come into the equation. Well, Gerbo going after it aggressively still. The pressure's off for him, really. Such a massive lead. As long as he stays clean, then he will be meeting Brian Voss in the final of the Catalonia Open 2011. Yeah, just a solitary two-pin standing. Straightforward spare. And uh, it looks pretty much as though he's uh, uh, ultraviolet additive into the oil, shot through an infrared camera, and hey-ho, there you go. Oh, just leaves a ring in 10. Yeah, that's going to be good enough. Make a spare here and the game's all going to be over. Yes, I suspect that uh, particular piece of kit to film the oil costs uh, a few quid more than we've got. Yes, and unfortunately... Bowling as it is at the moment needs uh, one or two, shall we say, luck. Quite a few players commenting about the increased interest from sponsors due to this coverage. Oh, he's done it again. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm afraid he's uh, there set by the ball reaction. And unfortunately, um, Thomas has found that out as well. Too late for me, I think. <laughs> so the game's all over. Oh, you got it. Oh, well, he's lucky to take that one out. You really got a feel, though, for Larson. It just hasn't happened, unfortunately, for him. Yeah, no, he's played well. In fact, it was a four pin, wasn't it? So, yeah, he's uh, got a bonus. Ball. There you go. Signs off with the strike. 
And a score of 184. Unfortunately, not quite good enough. Two open frames and only three strikes. Sorry, four strikes. Um, picks up third place check. To the final, so where he went, Brian Voss, and a chance now, maybe, for just a bit of experimentation. Might just fancy chucking this out a little wider, and that's come back very nicely for him. There we go. Yeah, he's very happy with that. But as you say, it's time to. Um, you really do have to look for 230 plus, you know, four or five strikes in a row um, to give yourself a chance and have, have a few open frames, of course. 237 is just about Agbo's score, and he is your winner. So, just for Agbo, beats Thomas Larson 237 to 184. That means it's Denmark versus the USA in the final of the Catalonia Open. Jesper Aguerbo will take on, surely, one of his heroes. Brian Voss, PBA Hall of Famer. He'll be up next against Jesper in the final here in Barcelona. But we say goodbye to the defending champion.